Hey guys, what's going on? Eric here, Florida High Performance. Welcome back to the channel. Behind me is one of the hottest cars on the planet, without a doubt, 2020 Corvette C8. We had the privilege of modifying. In this video, we're gonna go over a couple things. We're gonna go over the modifications we added, the performance we gained, and we're also gonna get to test drive the C8, show you exactly what it sounds like, wide open throttle, cruising, and everything in between. So sit down, hold on tight, and get ready for this awesome ride. So the first thing you notice about the C8, unlike a lot of the other ones on the road, is the exterior. It's lowered. We used Paragon Performance lowering collars on the front shocks, which dropped at about three quarters of an inch in the front. And then we used spanner wrenches from Lingenfelter Performance in the rear to adjust the factory coilovers to give it another half inch, about three quarters of a drop. So lowered the car down to the ground, make it look a lot better, make it handle a lot better too. Next thing we did was we added a bunch of aero and custom carbon fiber parts to the exterior of the car to make it stand out. The front splitter and skirts are from GM. The hood, the roof, and some of the other trim in the car is from Zagala Designs in California. What I like about it is it's exposed carbon fiber with a high gloss finish on it. It just gives it a nice custom look. The roof is actually done by Boca Raton Paint and Body. The factory roof skin was removed and this was bonded on. This is actual carbon fiber. So overall, we just gave it that custom look. We lowered it down and I think we really nailed it with these parts. So my favorite part of the car is obviously the performance work that we did. The customer said if it, if it exists, I want it on the car. Now tuning is always an issue with these CH, you can't really tune the car. So we had to make sure that the modifications we did were stock ECU friendly. That's exactly what these are. These are what we call bolt-on modifications. Really any modification you do in an engine that doesn't touch engine oil. And this car has every one of them you could put on it. So the very first thing you see when you pop the hatch on this is this awesome carbon fiber intake manifold. Lingenfelter and Performance Design teamed up and actually designed this intake specific to the C8 Corvette. Obviously, it has a beautiful carbon fiber finish, which is my favorite. You can actually see it when you close this deck lid, you can see it through the glass, which looks amazing. Obviously, when you pop it, you can see it, it looks amazing. So not only is it a good looking part, it also performs just as well. We actually picked the horsepower when we bolted this on. We also matched it with a 95 millimeter ported throttle body from Lingenfelter as well. So, Great looks, great performance, bolt-on and no tune required, which was really, really awesome. So very nice part. If you wanted to add sequential fuel injection, if you want to get really crazy with your C8, you can. This intake manifold comes with provisions for injectors and rails. So they've kind of thought about everything. You could boost this, you could run naturally aspirated, you could run sequential injection. It's a really, really well thought out piece. And again, looks great and performs just as well. So one of my favorite parts of this car, without a doubt, are the Carmen ceramic rotors and performance pads from RB Brakes. You probably will not find another C8 Corvette on the road with these rotors and pads, at least not one that I've seen locally. The customer wanted performance, he wanted looks, but he wanted this thing to stop as well. So what's really cool about these carbon ceramics is that they're factory replacement. They're the same size dimensionally as the factory rotors, so you can simply take your old rotors off, put these on. Same with the pads. The pads are designed to work with the factory caliper. These are the types of brakes you're gonna find on supercars. McLarens, Ferraris, and Lamborghinis. They all come standard with carbon ceramic brakes. Obviously the baddest Corvette on the planet needed to have the same. So improve braking, improve looks, win-win. So not only did we add an intake manifold to this car, we also added long tube headers. Cooks came out with their inch and 7 8 primary header for the C8 Corvettes, unique to this car. It replaces the factory exhaust manifold. We actually have them ceramic coated. The ceramic coating does two things. It keeps them looking good, which is a huge plus. Obviously, this engine bay was designed to look beautiful. Right? So it keeps that nice, shiny, silver look to it. And it helps keep the heat in the header. There's a lot of concern amongst people on the internet uh, about radiant heat off of these headers. There's a lot of things that are very close in here, a lot of wires and things like that in some of these covers. By ceramic coating this header, it helps to keep that heat in and really minimizes engine bay temperatures, which is a huge plus. So if you wind up buying these through Florida High Performance or if you wind up installing these on your C8, they will come ceramic coated as part of the price. Lastly, the crown jewel, in my opinion, the Corsa Lingenfelter exhaust on this car. Sound was very important. We didn't want any drone. We wanted functionality of the valves open and closed. All these things were important. And of course it had to sound like a proper Corvette. So we went to Lingenfelter, got their Extreme 8 exhaust. It's made by Corsa. What's great about it is it comes with quad black chrome tips, which are beautiful. It comes with provisions for your valves, both your NPP valves as well as your AFM valves. 
those all work properly. And so long as you get them recalibrated at the dealership, you'll have no check engine lights. Those should work perfectly. All right, guys, so here we are. We're inside this 2020 Corvette. What's great about these cars is you can modify them. You can do what we've done to it. And it's still actually pretty quiet. We're cruising around right now. The valves are closed. This does have the performance exhaust option on it. So it does have the valves that we can open and close. They are closed right now. I will open them here in a little bit and you'll see the difference. You'll hear the cabin noise change slightly, but overall it's not bad. If I had to have a phone call, if I had to converse with somebody in the cabin, we could certainly do that. So again, valves are closed, 3000 RPM, nice and quiet. Keep in mind, we have long tube headers, no catalytics, and a full performance exhaust. Not bad. I've now turned on Z mode, so the valves have opened, uh, there's a little bit of a noticeable difference in the cabin as far as noise is concerned, but nothing crazy. I could still have a conversation with somebody, find a talk on the phone, it's not a problem. There's no drone, anything like that. But you can definitely hear the engine more with this mode on. That's 3,500 RPM. Get city streets, cruising around. Nothing too crazy. The engine sounds awesome. I can hear the valve train working. I can hear the engine going through the gears. In my opinion, it sounds like a proper Corvette. Love it. And then of course, if I want to, close the valves, go back in my regular driving mode, and it is almost like stock. All right guys, so we have a nice little stretch of road here. Again, valves are closed. I'm not in Z mode, I'm in regular driving mode here. All right, we'll go wide open throttle, see how this thing sounds. At a certain speed, a certain RPM, this car is designed to have those valves open, so you did notice the change in exhaust. Again, to me, I think it sounds awesome. I think it sounds like a proper Corvette, healthy V8, no drone in the cabin. I'll open the valves. Valves are open, cruising, 2,000 RPM, 50 miles an hour. Not bad at all. It sounds great. Again, there's no drone in the cabin. Uh, you've seen in this video when we're driving it, you could have a phone call. You could talk to somebody in the passenger seat. There's really no extra cabin noise. Cold starts are a little loud, but other than that, I think it sounds beautiful. I think it sounds like a proper Corvette should, and it really tied this whole system in together. Overall, we picked up almost 30 real world horsepower from these modifications with no tuning. So, very impressed. Again, all bolt-on modifications. A lot of the stuff you can do yourself at home. And if you do it right and you use the correct parts and you get with your local shop or your dealership to have some things reprogrammed, you should have no check engine lights. And this thing should run and drive perfect every single day. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment below. A little spoiler alert, we have a lot more things coming on this car. We're actually gonna try to match the power of the new Z06 coming out. So make sure you follow along. You're gonna get to see the updates on this car and more. We'll see you next time. Thank you.